is up you turd burglars this is slim shady graphics here here to bring you back another video and for this video today i've been on scratch as of recently so i'm like why not make a good tutorial video for today so in this video i'm going to show you how to make an animated backdrop for your game on scratch or you know video whatever you really want to do on scratch i'm just going to show you how to make an animated backdrop it's very easy and pretty simple so of course the first thing you want to do is go online uh, or you know you can make your own GIF or GIF image. I'm going to pronounce it as GIF just because I'm used to it at this point in time. Uh, you can either make yourself a GIF, go download a GIF, anything that you want to do fully up to you. Go ahead and do that. After you do uh, you know, finish that up, you're going to want to go to your game that you're creating. And I'm going to open up mine now. I'm going to upload mine from the PC. What you're going to have to go to after you're on your project itself, uh, you're going to click on to the... Here, let me actually get rid of my name right here. Actually, no. Who cares? Um, so... Wow, I'm getting distracted. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to click on the stage uh, backdrop right here. And when you do click on here, you're going to go to backdrops. Now, finally, when you are here, uh, you want to make sure you click on this. So upload backdrop from the file. Now, when you click on that and you click on the GIF, it's going to upload all the images that made that GIF itself. And that's what you want in order to actually get that animated backdrop. So, and if you just clicked on regular import, it's just going to import, you know, just one image. It's going to import the one whole GIF itself, but it's not going to be animated. So make sure you keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to delete backdrop one. So we have all of these ones right here. Now, if you have your whole GIF set up right here as, you know, similar to how mine is, then you're in the right spot. Make sure that it is, um, make sure that it's taken up the whole, whole thing, the whole screen, the GIF itself. You can check real quick by clicking on the play button on your video or uh, game. So as you can see, uh, there's no white bars or anything like that. It's all Gucci. It's all Gucci. So... From here, we're actually going to go into the scripting. It's very easy scripting in order to make this animated backdrop. So when you go into here, we're going to go to events and we're going to start it off by when clicked on the green flag and we're just going to go straight to looks and we're going to go to switch backdrop. So of course, we're going to start at zero. And when we do that, just make sure you have right there. Uh, the next thing you want to do, you actually could do this before you click on switch to backdrop, but I don't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, go to forever and drag that right in between of when uh, the flag is clicked and switch the backdrop. Make sure you have that, very important. Uh, the next thing you're, that you're uh, gonna wanna do is click wait, uh, drag that one, the wait one seconds. We're gonna get into this a little bit later, but we're gonna drag in everything that we need to drag in for right now. So now what you're gonna do is kind of repeat the process for everything else right here. So we're gonna go to control, wait one seconds, and just keep on doing this right here until we put all of our backdrops in here. So we're going to put in two now. Go back into here. Put, wait one second. Oh, wrong place. Oh, geez. There we go. Make sure you have it similar to how mine is so far. Or else uh, you're going to dung goof yourself. And that's not going to be so good. You're going to have it just like this. And of course, if you have more uh, images than I do, uh, no worries. Just make sure you're doing what I'm doing right here and keep on putting them down until you reach the maximum amount of uh, backdrops that you put in from your GIF image. So, and let's bring this back down. We're gonna actually, I'm just gonna actually leap right here. Uh, wait one second, put that right there. Shove this under here, make this four, because you know, we got Five sources so we have the fourth source right here just make sure you're following along with me right here it's very simple and pretty easy all right so we're gonna go back to uh, control again and we're gonna click wait one second and then we're gonna go back to looks and then we're gonna put the backdrop to five you don't really have to change it because it's the last one that is if you have five sources like I do you're not gonna have five possibly so all right, so now that you have it exactly as I do right here, similar to your setup, like I said, you're probably going to have more backdrops than I do. Uh, but if it's set up like this, you're you know on the right path. So now they're basically going to keep on going around the list right here, and the GIF's going to keep on going through as it you know usually is. So 
when you click on this, it's forever right here. So it's going to switch to source zero. So you're going to see this one right here. And I'm just going to say one second later, it's going to switch to this one. And as you can see, it's just going to switch between these ones. As you can see, the pictures are, you know, changed up little by little. And when they're all together in this script, it's going to be animated to have your animated background. All right, so we're going to uh, actually bring down the time because one second is way too long. So what I usually prefer putting in, uh, depending on what kind of backdrop you have for mine, mine's a little slow with a little bit of stars shining up and everything like that. So I usually like to set it to either 0.25 or 0.3. Uh, I'm going to set mine to 0.25 right here. And I'm just going to do that for all of them. And luckily, this is pretty easy to do and pretty fast to do. All right, there we go. We have that all finished up. So now when we click on this, as you can see right there, you can see that it's animated right now. And like I said, you can play with the time depending on what kind of GIF you have. So, And another thing to add on, uh, just to let you guys know, is that uh, not all GIFs are going to be supported. Uh, and like I said, you can add in multiple pictures if you want to as well. Uh, but depending on what kind of GIF you have, some of them aren't really... Uh, they don't really work too well and let's just say it doesn't really look so good <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video definitely leave a like and subscribe if this helped you out i would highly appreciate it so anyways have a great one guys and this is some shiny out and peace